off on the Bowering Lakes canoe circuit, we stayed at the beautiful Becker's Lodge. It features two very distinct ecosystems, the rugged snow-capped peaks of the Caribou Mountains and the gently rolling Cornell Highlands. The tremendous diversity of topography, vegetation, and wildlife make it a truly unique place on Earth. We watched the mandatory orientation video and had our gear weighed. We reviewed the markers found on the circuit and then began hauling our canoe, gear and backpacks up the 2.4 km mostly uphill portage towards Kim Lake. Arriving at Kimmy Lake, we could barely contain our excitement putting the canoe into the water for the first time. We're doing it. We're doing it. After paddling Kibbe Lake, we started off on the next 2.4 kilometer portage between Kibbe and Indian Point Lake. This trail was thankfully easier than the first. taste of the orange channel markers found throughout the circuit. We were thankful we did this during the high water month of June as we did not have to portage around this section like you have to during drier months. The last portage section into Isaac Lake was the most difficult of the circuit. In hindsight, maybe we should have unloaded the canoe from the cart earlier rather than dragging it through the mud and the boardwalks. paddling and portaging, we sat down to enjoy our first of many dehydrated meals of the trip. In the morning, we paddled to Wolverine Bay to check out one of the cozy ranger cabins.
checked out the cabin at Moxley Creek, but we decided to continue on as it was still too early to stop for the day. So last night we camped at 12. So we paddled to Wolverine Bay, to the ranger cabin. We had lunch. We continued to paddle. We stopped at Mopsley Creek and got our sail. Checked out the cabin. Then we continued down Isaac. Past Lynx Creek. Past 21, past 22, and we're at 23. It is a tradition for paddlers on the circuit to carve themselves a wooden paddle and to leave it behind tied to one of the steel cables found in the various shelters during your trip. I knew that I wanted to leave ours at the shelter at the chute which we were quickly approaching so I got carving. They say there is never a quiet moment on Isaac Lake, and this is more than evident as you reach the southern portion of the lake and witness the many waterfalls flowing strongly into the lake. After our paddle hanging ceremony, we decided that we were going to run the chute and the roller coaster fully loaded with our gear. We were stoked that we made it through these technical sections without incident and celebrated with a quick lunch. The trail that takes you around the Cascades is one of the roughest trails that you will find on the circuit. After the short and rough portage, you'll find yourself back on the Isaac River for a short paddle before the mandatory exit before Isaac Falls.
After the short paddle from McMeary Lake, we left the clear waters for the silty waters of the Caribou River. In the morning, we decided to fill our water from a nearby creek rather than the glacial waters of the lake. Leaving Sandy Lake in the morning, we have an epic view of the highest peaks in the park, Ishpa Mountain. The south side of Uno Lake is a must side trip, the 1.2 km hike to 24 meter Caribou Falls.
us our final portage and ended up spending our final night at Spectacle Lake. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.